Welcome to this quick demo of a new way to create task definitions in Spring Cloud Dataflow 1.1. Here you'll see I have the dashboard. I have five apps defined. They're all task applications. Now, in previous versions of Dataflow, the only option you had was come to this apps view for the task you're interested in, press create definition. Then you get this wizard style uh, guide through building that task definition telling you all about what you need to enter, uh, telling you about supported options, tool tips for the options. Fill them all in and press submit. Then I have a new definition. Now that's certainly invaluable for, uh, we showed you the timestamp one, look at this Spark one, it's got loads of options. So that's definitely an invaluable route to building them. But if you're extremely familiar with that task, you know what the options are, you don't need a guide in experience, or if you need to create a whole load of them in one go, uh, it'd be a bit annoying to go through that wizard over and over. So with 1.1, we have a new bulk defined tasks option. Drops you into this text box. Tells you the kind of information it's looking for. So it wants a name, equals, then an application, then options for that, using the familiar DSL. The text box has content assist. The one suffix there is because I'm on line one. Um, then control space again, timestamp, control space again. You'll see it didn't give us a list of options, it just picked the one because there is only one so obviously we meant that one and then I fill it in and now my task is ready to go if I press create I get the same thing as before now you'll see that as I'm typing I'm getting uh, little red markers here that there are problems and that's because there's validation going on two kinds of validation so we have syntax validation for if you violate the syntax of the DSL so I haven't put enough hyphens here it tells me. We also have task validation going on, so if I supply an option that the task doesn't support, timestamp doesn't support the option format too, and if I use a task that's not defined, it'll tell me as well. It tells me no valid task definitions detected, and it tells me over here I have an error. I said you could use it to do bulk definitions, so we could paste text into here, but I'm going to import from a file. Let's import this one. So this has got uh, 32 definitions in it. We can see 32 successfully detected. Uh, the validation is still running though, so if I did have a problem down here, you see, although I only see a page of this full definition file, and here it looks like there's no problem, but there's a few signs there's something wrong. There's create buttons grayed out. There's only 31, and I'm expecting 32. There's an error marker in the gutter here, and if I move the scroll bar down, you'll see I get feedback on where the problem is. And there's also the error count is clickable. So if I had thousands of these things, and I'm trying to find the problem, I can just click on this and it will jump to the error. I can fix it up. 32 definitions detected. Create button enabled. Let's press it they're all being built in one go and you see I have all these new definitions so there you go a new way to create test definitions in 1.1 hope you enjoy it thanks for watching